All right, so in lieu of doing work, I decided to watch the original 13 Ghosts from 1960. So a lot of you that follow me on Instagram would have seen the mayhem I went through to get this movie to work. And I must say, it works pretty flawlessly. A couple of hiccups on the tape, but no big deal. Um, so my last video, I mentioned that I really liked how Dan was going about this, but I wanted to come up with my own criteria for the movies, and I quickly did this that same night. So I wanted to talk about the creativity of the movie. Was I sucked into it? Uh, did the music and or effects um, work for the movie? Does it leave me with a lasting impact, and does VHS matter? Uh, the creativity is fantastic. For 1960, um, you know, 13 ghosts haunting a house, um, creating, you know, they can hurt you, um, death, they can kill you, um, and the witch lady, I think they came up with a concept that was fantastic for 1960, and moving right into it, I was sucked in, I thought the movie was really well done, great script, acting was pretty good overall, and it definitely had that theatrical, um, acting like that we saw in House on Haunted Hill, uh, so it was really enjoyable, a fun watch. So I was sucked in. The music and the effects actually um, worked fantastic. They did a really good job of building up the tension in the movie with the music and the effects. Even though some of the ghostly noises were a little bit odd, um, a little bit dramatic, I really think it, it worked in this movie. Uh, lasting impact. I think it does leave a lasting impact. I think a lot of these old horror movies have actually made a huge impact on how I look at horror movies, uh, which will be interesting as I go forward, forward into like the 1970s and 80s with some of the movies I've chosen. Um, I'll always remember this one, and I do have the 1990 whatever remake over there that I'll probably end up watching at some point, uh, just to compare and contrast. And did VHS matter? I think it does. I think with all horror, it does. And we've talked about that on the show before. Um, definitely played a good role in this. The sound was a little wonky. Um, but overall, a really good copy of this movie. Um, so I'm going to give this movie, because my star ratings, I've kept with that. Um, I'm going to give this... It's a really good movie. Uh, I think I'm going to give it an 8. I really think they did a lot of great things in this movie. And acting, sound effects, creativity, all of the things that truly matter in a good movie were in this one. So, giving it an 8. And I think having the criteria helped me keep this relatively short. As a quick FYI, I do watch these in the dark here in my office um, to help, you know, with the effect. Hey, what the hell? Horror movies. Um, so yeah, 13 Ghosts, 1960. Giving it an 8. It's better than House on Haunted Hill. That's for sure.